Hello again, this is Rick Baxter with Cost Control Software. In uh, this particular video, I'm going to take you through the tree map visualization, kind of explain how it works and uh, how we recommend setting this up and how we include it certainly in our uh, customers' databases. Uh, let's start with a very simple one here. I'm going to start in the customer area, and this is a list of the customers. I've put the tree map visualizer right here on the screen. Let me just open that up. So we saw a list of customers. Now we see the visualization of that list based on color, based on credit limit, and size based on sales dollars. So let's start with size. The biggest box on here represents the largest sales dollars for that customer. So based on the box size, that represents our largest uh, customer sale. In this case, it happens to be the Canna Group. Then it goes down to uh, Klublin, and then uh, uh, Saragor Saragorian, uh, sales and you can see the as the boxes get smaller and smaller they um, indicate the the size of sales for those customers so it's like a ranking of your customers based on total sales for that customer then the second criteria is credit limit and in this case it looks like there's not many credit limits set except for this unusual blue square here and that's really the purpose of these uh, visualizations is to make uh, things stand out at you so this one uh, uh, this uh, Antarctic copy has a credit limit you, you just hover on it you can see it there a uh, credit limit of, of 40 looks like about forty seven thousand uh, dollars forty seven hundred dollars and in fact some of these others do as well here's a little bit smaller one at thirteen hundred dollars uh, there's a credit limit at zero but the colorized ones going from blue to gray to red indicates <clears throat> whether there is a credit limit in fact you can even see those numbers right across uh, the bottom here these are uh, drillable so if I want to drill into that particular customer I just click on it and that card opens up so what I want you to do is think of this visualization as a list but based on these criteria now the interesting thing about this is that you can change the criteria so let's say I want to compare sales to maybe um, outstanding orders dollars so I just basically click on that and now I'm comparing still sales customers but now I'm comparing that to the outstanding orders and again the blue ones are uh, goes basically the scale so it goes from blue to gray to red and it uh, indicates the outstanding order amount right there is a fairly large one on this on this customer so you can uh, and you want to maybe compare that uh, the order amount to refund dollars uh, you know you basically click and it changes the shape and the view and it highlights uh, basically specific customers that are kind of exceptions you might say and those are the ones that need to be reviewed based on the criteria that you've put here so that's pretty much how this system works now you can um, add filters to it so you can say where the address is something or all for a certain city so you can add criteria to your uh, visualization very easy to do that as well now with that said that's the visualization for customers we uh, encourage you to have visualization on all your master files so for our customers we include that so the tree map visualization for um, vendors uh, kind of the same thing the uh, balance uh, that is due to that customer shows for the size so here's the largest amount due and then outstanding orders uh, you might want to look at it by purchases so this is a vendor so let's come down to purchases dollars 
So again, I'll change the visualization. And so the largest vendor that we've been buying from is this Morton Car Company. Um, about $196,000. Probably can't see that on your screen, but uh, you can always double click uh, that particular customer and drill into it, look at their statistics and see those, see the particular values. Okay, so we put it on vendors. We also put it in inventory items. Very interesting in inventory items. If we look at the tree map visualizer for inventory items, what I like to look at is comparing the quantity on sales orders to the quantity on hand. Basically, uh, pretty much supply and demand between these two. And you see, in this case too, I have filtered this for the inventory posting group to be finished. But if I want to switch and just look at my raw materials, I can strictly, uh, very quickly change the filter so that I'm just looking at, again, think of it as a list. So I'm looking at my list for um, my uh, raw material items, like spokes and base and uh, green paint, that kind of thing. And I'm comparing quantity on hand okay, to quantity on sales orders for like parts. So this is... Um, and in fact, here's one where we have quantity on sales orders of 10 and quantity on hand of 1,000. So a pretty big difference there. In fact, that's kind of unusual. And usually when these things stand out, and that's the purpose of this, is for you to spot kind of exceptions. Uh, I just double click on those spokes and let's take a look at what's going on here. In fact, yeah, we can see very quickly now that look we've got 10,000 spokes on hand and sales orders of only 10 okay so my demand is 10 my supply is 10,000 my excess inventory is 9,990 this is a horrible situation why did we ever buy these items so this is the idea of uh, spotting uh, inventory problems and letting that visualization kind of call your attention to problem areas so that you can then just double click that particular item and uh, drill right down and um, see what see what the situation is now we've done this not only with uh, these master files uh, it makes sense quite frankly to see it on sales orders so I can see a sales orders and I see a tree map visualizer and now I can see my sales orders I can compare amounts to maybe um, prepayment percentages now there's not much difference in my sample uh, data but you you get the idea let's do amount as size and then we'll do uh, let's say a currency factor here so we've got looks like we've got one really large sales order out here and then several others that are kind of a uh, smaller so uh, based on this one large one now there's sliders oh I should show you this too there is a slider that says well I know about that one and I really don't need to look at that and see it it's right here that's that so I can just kind of slide next to that and exclude that from my visualization and now I'm seeing the other orders okay so I can actually filter by just moving my slide bars over a little bit and and the visualization changes to just include the ones that I'm interested in seeing if there's some exceptions that I know are already there so those are nice now where we provide this uh, tree map I should just let you know about that um, we do put it on sales orders we put it on purchase orders um, we, we feel it's really important on purchase orders as well purchase invoices to look at history sales uh, invoices to look at the um, posted sales invoices that kind of thing general ledger we want to be able to analyze chart of accounts so uh, we we have this uh, tree map visualization available for our customers with our foundation pack on many of the um, master files and related files uh, for your viewing use Thank you very much. I hope you like what you see. And if you have any questions, uh, I'll put up my contact information and you can give me a call or send me an email.
Thanks so much.